guys, so today I'm doing my weekly wax melting video. I'm doing it a little bit early uh, this week because I feel like everything is still kind of fresh in my mind and I kind of want to get it out there before I forget. So um, I did want to say a few things really quick. So I'll put a little timestamp on here of where if you just want to, you know, get right into the, the reviews. But um, I wanted to say Sophia, my random favorite thing, suggested a video talking about wax vendors and her experience with the throw. It was a really cool video and I'm going to try to link it, uh, not link it, but put it across the screen so you can just click on the button and it'll take you straight to that video because it was really cool how she, apparently she keeps an Excel file of all of the scents that she warms and then she grades them, well actually she doesn't grade them, but she gives them like a good throw or let's see what was a good throw oh, I can't remember her rating system but anyways then she switched all of the the words to actual numbers to correspond with what the throw was and then she did some mathematical equation on Excel and then came up with how the throw was for um, for all the scents that she had worn. So I thought it was really cool and I thought it was really sweet that she took all that time to do that because it was kind of interesting to see where the numbers fell because a lot of the scents that she, or not the scents, but the wax vendors that she men mentioned, I was like, yeah, I can agree with that. Like if it fell kind of on a lower throw rating, I was like, yep, that's, that's pretty much right on. So I did not watch that whole video. I kind of skipped through. I didn't have a lot of time, so I kind of watched the beginning and then kind of skipped through to a couple of vendors I was interested in. But I'm going to go back when I'm like doing dishes or something and uh, turn, turn it back on and watch the whole thing. So I don't know if anybody else does that, but I always turn on videos when I'm doing dishes. It kind of, I don't know, takes the um, boringness of dishes and kind of gives me something to listen to or plot my next order. Or, Whatever. And also on that note too, I've kind of slowed down on my wax buying. It seems like everybody does this. You start out and you go kind of crazy because you don't know, you know, like if the scents are all new to you, the vendors are all new to you. So you kind of just go and figure out what it is that you like and the vendors that you like. So I think I've kind of got my favorite vendors nailed down. I think I kind of know what scents I like and what I don't like. So I feel like, like openings, like as far as openings, I will never miss a Super Tarts opening. In fact, Super Tarts is the star of my melting this week. I didn't melt much from her, but she was, her Brandy's Wax is the star of this show. So she is one that I would definitely order from again and again and again. Uh, I don't really, I don't want to mention anybody else because, I mean, there's a few, but... I don't want to start calling out vendors and stuff, but um, Super Tarts is definitely one that I would order from over and over again. Okay, so let me get started. Okay, so the first thing that I warmed is the Two Timing Tart Wild Berry Lemonade, and I just did one of the flower tarts in a Glade 20 watt in my kitchen. And I put it on and I left the room, and when I came back, I came back to this I would say medium to high. Yeah, I'm starting to sound like Sophia with her rating system, but medium to high to me is that when you walk in the room, you can definitely smell it, it's there, you know what you're smelling. And I just got this really nice lemonade smell. It was like an authentic lemonade. It wasn't, um, I don't know, I feel like lemonade is usually pretty spot on with most vendors. Like I've never smelled like anything fake about lemonade, but this one was really good. The wild berry was nice. It wasn't like a wild berry mousse to me, but it was just a nice berry lemonade. So that one was a good one. I was really happy with the throw on that one. I'm not gonna comment on how long things last me because I really don't. To me, if it lasts, I don't know, a day, then I'm good with that. And I turn my warmers on and off throughout the day, so. Okay, uh, disappointment for the week is golden trapeze which i believe is supposed to be like a lemon meringue with rose no uh, a gardenia sweet rose gardenia icing or something like that 
Now this one when you smell it, it does smell very light. And the problem with this one is it, it was very light. I put one cube in a pl Scentsy plug-in in my bathroom and that just did not work. Like I could kind of smell it, but I had to really like stick my head over the warmer to smell it. I might try again in the, I might try again in my, a bigger Scentsy warmer, I might try three cubes and then I might try two or three cubes and a glade. Let's see, how many do I even have left? Well, no, I can only do three or two. So anyways, this one was, yeah. Also, I've been trying to warm some of the bathing garden stuff just to, so I can kind of form an opinion on it. This cream filled circus bread actually did okay. Um, I only did two cubes in the kitchen with the glade warmer and this actually did all right. Um, it was kind of a medium throw, not super heavy, but not light either. You could definitely walk in the room and know that something was happening. Um, the scent was not my favorite. It, I mean, it's pretty good, but it's just a bread scent with a little bit of sweetness. I don't know, it's okay. I'm, I'm gonna, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna let these two cure for a little bit longer and then give them a go later and try some different things. 10 digit, the lemon marshmallow. I put this in a glade warmer in my office area, which is kind of a smaller area. I was kind of was expecting really good things with this, but um, just kind of got a lemon scent with not a lot of sweetness. And I know marshmallow is kind of a light scent anyway, but I just really didn't get like it was there when you walked in the office, you could smell it, but it just, I think it was lacking the sweetness that I wanted. I have some new uh, 10 digit that I'm excited to warm and see what scents I like from them, but I don't know. I think maybe I'm just, maybe not a big lemon marshmallow fan, so. Okay, so next we have a scuba bowl in, from Front Porch. I think this one is called, where are you? Lemon Marshmallow Cream Filled. And this one is really good in my daughter's room in a Scentsy warmer. This thing had a really nice throw and it seemed to last for three three days at least. She kept, uh, she turns it on in the morning like when she's getting ready for school or when she's in there after school and we kind of leave it running until she goes to bed. And um, this one just kept throwing and throwing and it filled up the room really well. So I was really pleased with this. I would really be interested in getting some more scuba bowls, but um, I checked her site the other day and there wasn't any that like called out to me, so. Also from Front Porch, this Wild Berry Mousse Lemon Drop Candy Marshmallow. I split, it's like a little macaroon, I split it in half. And I put half in a Scentsy Warmer in our bedroom and it was not a good throw at all. Um, I guess marshmallow again is not super dominant in most um, tarts. So then I took the other half and I put it in a Glade warmer in the kitchen and it threw much better. So I sometimes have weird luck with front porch. Like sometimes I can put it in a Scentsy warmer and it'll do really well. And then other times it's just not going, it's not throwing in a Scentsy warmer. So, and overall this was kind of like, it smells good in the bag, but it was just too sweet for me. Yeah, I don't know. It still smells good to me. It was just, it was overly sweet when it was warming. Okay, so next from Front Porch is Loopy Marshmallow Bread, which I warmed in a Scentsy warmer. And it, this one was not a high throw like I was hoping for. And the marshmallow really didn't come out to me. So it was just kind of like Fruit Loops and bread, which I think is not really a good combination. I really didn't like the way this one smelled when it warmed up. Yeah, it, that marshmallow, I wish somebody could get a marshmallow that actually, you could actually smell marshmallow. I don't know. That one just didn't work for me. Okay, this one's messy because I used it to cut a tart in half on. Um, this was a big flower and Jackie O will never, never be hungry again. And I actually cut it in half because it was one of those big flowers. This one is delicious. I don't know the ingredient, or the ingredients. I don't know the scents like right off the top of my head, but the scent of this is delicious. I did it in a 20 watt glade in my office again. And um, I did feel like this one faded kind of quickly though. I don't think I had it on for a super long time, at least five or six hours, I guess. But um, I feel like it just faded kind of quickly, but that won't stop me from warming it for sure. Okay, 
got another one from Front Porch here. Banana marshmallow cookies. I threw this one in a Scentsy warmer. I think with the thing with Front Porch is I think I need two of these grubbies to throw into a Scentsy warmer to really make it smell. Um, the banana marshmallow cookies. I'm trying to remember. I don't remember getting a lot of banana. It was a good smell. Like I like the scent, but I feel like banana in general is kind of um, a lighter scent and then obviously marshmallow. So it was just kind of a sweet cookie scent. You could kind of pick up the banana in the beginning and then it slowly like faded away. But I would probably reorder this one again. Okay, Tiffany Candles Pink Marshmallow. I threw in the whole scent shot into my Glade Warmer. And I don't know if any of you other guys notice this, but does anybody else get an undertone from certain companies? Like if somebody were to like blindfold me and stick a front porch tart in under my nose, like I feel like I'd be able to pick it out due to the undertone. I feel like this had an undertone to it and I kind of smell it in all of her wax or at least what I have bought from her. This is the first thing I've worn from her, by the way. So just smelling it on cold sniff, I'm saying I smell like an undertone. So I'm thinking I might try her scuba bowls because I have a feeling this pink marshmallow would be a lot sweeter smelling. It warmed pretty well. Okay, so it warmed pretty well, but I just had this, it had a strange undertone to it. I could definitely pick out the pink sugar for sure, but I don't know that I was getting marshmallow. And I just feel like there was this undertone to the wax that it wasn't bad. I just, I don't know, I, I really want to try the scuba bowl in this and see if there's a difference. But her wax is mostly paraffin and I think her scuba bowls are something different. So I'd be interested to try. Let's see, pink sugar cookie dough bread. Uh, yeah, cookie dough bread. This is one of my favorites from Front Porch. I actually have a 12 pack grubby. And I have two going in my daughter's warmer right now, and it smells amazing. I also have the sugar cookie dough bread in a 12-pack uh, grubby tart bag, and that's another favorite as well. Just something about the pink sugar and the cookie dough bread is just an amazing blend. I would highly recommend if you like bakery just to try this out. It is really good. I put two. I have the bag, so I, had, I used the single, and then I grabbed one from my bag and put it in a Scentsy Warmer and it's throwing good. And it seems to throw for a long time, so like that one. Okay, now here is, oops, here is my star, one of my stars of the week. A friend sent me a D-stash of Wolverine's Woman by Super Tarts. And I have a kind of a, um, like a huge living room connected to the formal dining room, connected to the entryway. So anything I put in that um, 20 watt warmer, it's from actually from Walgreens, has to be strong because this perme um, this you could smell this throughout the entire living room, which is really hard to do from any vendor. And this scent is amazing. I can't think off the top of my head what it is, but I think it's rose scented something. It is just so so good. I love this scent. It was high throw. Um, and especially in a large space. This one I just absolutely adore. Like I said, I will not miss any more Super Tarts openings because I feel like her wax is worth every penny. Also another highlight of the week was Edward's Promise. I did two cubes and I have my little sheet here. Edward's Promise was a really pretty blend. Pink chiffon, gardenia, pink sugar, and vanilla bean noel. Just a soft, but it didn't come off soft. It was a very high thrower as well in, in the same living room area. It's just like a beautiful floral. I can't even describe it. I, if you can get your hands on this one, I would definitely try it out if you like floral and like sweet. It's like florally sweet. Just so lovely. This was a favorite. Okay, let's see what else. Oh, somebody sent me a um, single flower tart, Lucy and Ethel by BCS. This is some sort of pistachio scented tart. I didn't really, like, I don't really like pistachio, but I mean, this is okay. 
I put it in my daughter's Scentsy Warmer, which sometimes VCS will throw for me in Scentsy and sometimes it won't. This performed okay. Um, it wasn't like knock your socks off when you walked in the room, but it was there and you could smell it. Not one of the worst performers of the week, but um, definitely not like the super high strong throw. So let's see. And 30 Street Crafts, Inconceivable. Now, I don't know if I should have used both of these cameo tarts or not. I probably should have. Um, I use this in a 20 watt in my kitchen. And I kind of had a medium throw. Like, I kind of expected this one to be really strong. And I probably just should have used both of the cameos. But the, um, the banana grapefruit was amazing. Like, I love the two together. The grapefruit was obviously more dominant than the uh, banana. But it was just like a good tropical scent. Um, I would get this again. I would just either try to do the two tarts or put it in a smaller room. That was with the 20 watt as well. This one, Farm Boy's Devotion, I warmed, I took half of it and I warmed it in my living room, which again is the big space in a 20 watt. And this one was um, a softer scent, but you could definitely smell it, um, which again is hard in my living room area space. It was always there. You could always smell it and pick it up, but it was just like a softer scent. Really nice scent. And in fact, I'm probably going to melt this other little chunk in a um, in a smaller room so I can get more of the uh, scent since it's softer. But this is really good. I like this one. And Dancing Elephants. Where do I even start? I love the scent of this. I believe it's like a blue cotton candy, a blue cotton candy something with um, raspberry, no, sweet gardenia icing or something. No, which one is this? Oh, dang it, I can't remember. I looked it up right before I did this video and I can't remember what was on the top of this. I don't know, there's like a rose. Yeah, that's what it was, like a rose and then the blue cotton candy. Okay. So I posted on one of the wax boards that I just could not get a good throw from the bathing garden. And I'm just gonna be honest here because, um, you know, I don't get paid by any of these companies. This is just my own little fun little hobby to do. And I like my house to smell good and all that. So this is just gonna be my honest opinion and what I'm finding. So I'm gonna keep trying. I, I put in a Halloween order and I'm just going to see how it goes. Um, the thing is with that is with the Halloween order, it's going to have to cure for, I don't know, some people are saying like two to three months is a good cure time for the bathing garden and sometimes even longer. So I don't really like waiting that long for my wax. Like the super tarts, I think I've had for, um, when did this come out? I don't even know, but it was ready to go like pretty much. I put it in my warmer and it was a super strong throw. So why would you even mess with anybody else when like this one, I feel like you have to baby it, you know? So I started out with one cube in my daughter's Scentsy plug-in in the bathroom. Um, very low throw. So then somebody had said, why don't you try three cubes? So I tried three cubes. Actually, somebody said, try a Scentsy warmer, a bowl warmer. So I tried three cubes in my, um, bulb warmer which i have in there now i'm gonna go sniff real quick but um and then before that i did two cubes in the glade warmer in the com my computer room and i got a medium throw not high but i could definitely smell it so that it was a little bit better let me go in the kitchen really quick and see how it's doing with the three cubes okay so i just went in my kitchen with three cubes in the scentsy warmer and i could not even tell that anything was even on and my kitchen is not huge. There's no vaulted ceilings in there. At least I don't think they're, I think they're higher than a normal normal um, ceiling, but like not super high, like in other rooms. But um, it's closed off, you know, it's not like an open concept kitchen or anything. So there's walls all around. So I, I mean, I just put it in last night. I, I turned it on last night for a couple hours. It took a long time to melt. And um, I could smell it okay then, and then I turned it off after two hours because I was like, I really want to try it tomorrow and just let it go. And then, so I just went in the kitchen now. It's only been on two hours, and 
I can't smell anything, so I don't know. If you have been warming the bathing garden for a long time, I, um, if you want to put your comments down below of you know what you've tried or because I really want this to work, I really really do. I love the bathing garden. I like this scent is beautiful. I really do like it. But I, to me, if it looks pretty and whatever, and if it doesn't throw, then it's kind of like, what's the point? So that was kind of my disappointment. Um, yeah, and maybe this one just is not a good, you know, I mean, I hear that some, I mean, everybody has duds, you know, there are certain wax vendors that they're, you know, there's like a dud in the group. So maybe this was it. I don't know. But anyways, so that was it. That was my midweek. Like I said, I wanted to get these out there while they were still fresh in my brain. And um, I guess that's it. I will see you guys later. And thanks for watching. Bye.